Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing this red cut crease look for you guys. I really wanted to do something super fall, super vampy, and this is what I came up with. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you guys have not already. Don't forget to follow me on all of my social media. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into the video. So I'm starting off by using my Tarte Shape Tape Concealer and I'm going to be priming my eyes with this. I love priming with concealer because it gives a really nice solid base for any eyeshadows that we're going to be using and it just cancels out any veins or redness on our eyes. I'm going in with Bone Eyeshadow by Anastasia and I'm just going to take a flat brush and I am just going to set that primer or concealer. Then we are going into the Anastasia Modern Renaissance Palette and I am taking a matte 217 brush and I'm taking the color Red Ochre and I'm going to be placing that into my crease, my outer crease and then dragging it inwards. And then I'm taking a Sephora blending brush and I'm just gonna blend out those edges. Then I'm going into the Urban Decay Naked Heat Palette and I'm taking this red color, I believe this is called he devil and I'm gonna be taking this Smashbox blending brush it's very similar to the Mac 217 I'm just gonna place that right on top then I'm taking my Mac 220 is it 224 222 brush and I'm going to be carving out a cut crease now I really wanted this to be a defined cut crease so I used my tart shape tape so I could really get a solid line and I worked really really hard on it I'm just taking a little bit of red ochre and I'm popping that right onto the outer corner so we can blend it together. Then I'm going in with that Bone Eyeshadow by Anastasia once again and I'm going to be placing that onto the lid to set that concealer just like we did at the beginning. And then I'm going to take um, a little bit of MAC Shroom and place that right on top to give it a little bit of shimmer. I'm also going back in with that 217 brush and blending that edge out so it doesn't look like a harsh line. I'm taking a little bit of Shroom, or Shimma Shimma actually, by Makeup Geek, and I'm going to be applying that to my brow bone with this flat brush. Now, I didn't show a ton of this because it got cut out. I first used my NYX Liquid Liner in black to give myself a wing, and then I'm using this NYX Liquid Liner, and it is a gold, shimmery type of liner, and I'm using that to kind of create a line right above where that cut crease is, and I really like the way it turned out. I use these Pure Cosmetics Trendsetter Lashes, and now I'm getting ready to do my face. I'm starting off with the Tarte Timeless Slate Smoothing Primer, and then I'm going to be applying some MAC Strobe Cream to the outer parts of my face with a dual fiber brush. I love MAC Strobe Cream. I haven't used it in such a long time, and I forgot how much I really loved it under a foundation, so I used that today. Then I'm going in with the YSL All Hours Foundation. I cannot tell you guys how much I have been loving this stuff. I've used it nonstop, and I know I should like hold back on it a little bit because it is so expensive um, but I love it it's beautiful it blends out beautifully it looks amazing and the color matches me so perfectly so I love it so much I'm just taking a damp beauty blender with that and I am blending that out all over my face then I'm going in with the Kevin Aquan Concealer. This is the Super Etherealist Concealer. This is in the shade 03. I love this concealer. It's so, so nice. It blends out beautifully. It looks flawless on the face. Um, I definitely think I could mix a lighter shade of this in here as well so I could get a really bright under eye. Um, but that, it is what it is. And then I'm taking this small beauty blender that I actually found at Walgreens for 99 cents and it's amazing. So if you guys have a Walgreens, go pick up this up. It's so, so good. Um, I really like it. I'm taking my Pure Cosmetics Contour Stick in the shade Medium and I'm just going to use that to contour around my face, my cheekbones, my jawline underneath my lip, and of course my nose. So I really just place this everywhere that I would normally place any regular powder contour. I'm taking that same dual fiber brush that I used earlier to blend this out. I always find that brushes blend out cream contours really nicely and then I like to go back in with a beauty blender and I just like to smooth it out and really press it into the skin. I'm going in with my Laura Mercier translucent powder and I'm going to set my under eyes. I'm just going to bake for a little bit. You guys know I love doing this. It really just sets my under eyes so I'm going to apply that with the same 
blender sponge that I use to blend out the concealer. And then after a while, I'm just going to dust that all off of my face. I like to drag it down anywhere that I didn't set with powder so it's my whole face is set. And I'm just using a jumbo tapered brush for that. I'm going in with my Pure Cosmetics Contour Palette and I'm taking this banana shade and I'm just going to take a little bit and set underneath my eyes to brighten it up just a tad more. Then I'm going in with that deep, or that not, it's not a deep contour, but it's more of a cool toned contour. And I'm taking this Hoola bronzer brush and I'm just going to kind of set that cream. Taking my Bahama Mama bronzer and this giant powder brush, I'm going to be bronzing my face. If you guys haven't noticed lately, this has been my favorite part of any type of tutorial. I love bronzing my face. It just, it is so amazing. So, um, I'm just going to bronze it up. Then I'm taking this um, blush palette by BH Cosmetics and I'm mixing a couple of the colors to kind of get an orangey type of look and I really liked the way it came out. I've been so into blush lately, I don't know why, but I've really been loving it. Now I'm going to go back in and finish off my eyes, so I'm taking Raw Sienna from the Anastasia Modern Renaissance Palette with this dome brush, and I'm just going to blend it underneath my eyes, and then I'm going in with that red ochre color and doing the same exact thing right on top, just blending it underneath that lower lash line really nicely so it matches the top. And lastly, I'm going in with that Heat Devil color uh, from the Naked Heat palette, and I'm just going to place that right on top, again, so it matches faithfully to the top. I'm taking my Ofra Cosmetics Rodeo Drive with this BH Cosmetics tapered brush, and I'm just going to apply that to the tops of my cheekbones. This is one of my favorite highlights. It is so Bomb. And then I also place it at the tops of my um, temples and then on my nose and of course on my lip. I'm going to take this Scandal Eyes Mascara by Rimmel and I'm just going to apply some of that to my lower lashes. And of course taking a black eyeliner from Makeup Geek, this is in the shade Obsidian, I'm going to go ahead and run that on my lower waterline um, just to kind of make it pop a little bit. I'm taking Max Rice Paper and I'm going to use it as an inner corner highlight. I decided I didn't want to just use that one so I went in with Shimma Shimma by Makeup Geek and I went ahead and popped that right on top. I've been loving this tiny little pencil brush for inner corner highlight lately. I'm going to do my lips now and I mix a few colors here. So I'm first starting off with this NYX lip liner. I believe this is in truffle or some sort of brown shade. I cannot remember it for the life of me. Um, but but I just line my lips with this and I actually think a brown would have looked really nice but I decided to do a deep red today. Then I'm going ahead and taking Creeper by Colourpop and I'm just going to apply that right on top. This is a really bright red shade and I wanted more of a deep burgundy but I didn't have a single one. So you'll see in here in just a second that I go ahead and mix another color right on top. That color is K-pop by, is it K-pop? I can't remember, but I know it's by ColourPop and it is by the Creature Tran collab. I have it down in the description box as well for you guys. So that is it for today's video. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. You guys should definitely let me know your guys' thoughts down in the comments below. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you guys have not already. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!